Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a review on Marvel's Jubilee from the X-Men Wave Caliban Build-A-Figure. It's got a nice picture of Jubilee right there in the front. It says X-Men. has a nice drawing of Jubilee here. The same one there. On the back it has Jubilee using her fireworks along with a quick little bio and then the rest of the wave. So I still need quite a bit of this wave. Um, I will be actually picking up Beast from my friend Jack uh, Tuesday um, of this week. So Tuesday, August, I believe 12th. So if you see this video, this video might be up a little later, but August 12th, I will have Beast. And then I'll slowly chip away at these guys. Definitely want X, Weapon X, but all right. So we'll get her opened up and we'll check out Jubilee. All right, so first up, we come with the body of Caliban. So very cool, there we go. So I think mine has a defect, not a bad defect but it came with two glasses, unless others are coming with two glasses, but mine came with two of her pink sunglasses, which is kind of cool in case I lose one. This one's definitely more bent, so it was behind this one. So it makes me think that just two got pushed in there, but very cool. And then we also have the, uh, I'm feeling smart. Oh wait, yeah, because she didn't come with the glasses on her head with the bubble gum, but there you go. And we still have an extra pair along with the pair that's on her head. So I have, just so you guys can see, I do have three, which is interesting. It's a cool head sculpt. I like a little bubble gum. It's cute. Let me see. And we get that with Boom Boom. But I really like the earrings. Nice gold earrings. And her eyes are looking straight on, which is nice. This is kind of more of a softer. Be careful with that. That could break off. But the bubble gum looks really cool. I like that translucent pink. Her hair looks nice and good. Very cool. All right. So, sorry, I'm just excited to have a 90s Jubilee finally. Very cool. All right. So it's just more of a, just a straightforward look. I will probably, I may do the bubblegum heads, you know, because I just think that's more funny and more like her from what I remember in the cartoon. But very cool head sculpt. Uh, it's got the earrings. Her hair looks really nicely sculpted. It's pretty short. Just a straightforward look. I like the translucent pink sunglasses. I'm glad they're removable. And then we do get her yellow trench coat <laughs> and the light blue gloves with the pink shirt and the same logo on her chest up here as her earrings. Just nice gold. I've got some gold buttons on the side here. And her little jean shorts and her little black belt with her silver belt buckle. And those nice light blue boots and good flesh tone. Very cool. How fun is this? I would have never thought we would be having a 90s style Jubilee from very similar to the cartoon. I just think this is great. All right, so going to the articulation, it looks left and right, up and down. I, I could have sworn like the build a figure we got from a while ago at Toys R Us was going to be it. I'm just forward, out, and back. It's got a single joint elbow, rotation at the elbow, got a rotation at the wrist, also a hinge at the wrist, goes up and down. Kind of has the little uh, spirit fingers going. Same thing here on this side. It's got the ball joint in the chest. You can rock her side to side. Her jacket's pretty flexible, but yeah, no waist swivel. That's all a rotation in that ball joint in the upper chest. Uh, she can kick forward and spread pretty far. And upper thigh swivel. I like how they cut it right at the short so you don't even see that joint. Double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down. They're pretty tight and up. Man, those are tight. And they have nice ankle rockers and peggles bottom of her feet. All right, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys her head with the bubble gum. See if I want to keep this. Ah, oh, there we go. Hmm. Sorry for the silence. I'm just thinking. Not sure. All right, I'll show you guys how tall <laughs> Jubilee is. All right, so Jubilee stands a little, little under six inches tall, and I'll give you a good comparison of the build figure. All right, so here she is with the Toys R Us exclusive Build-A-Figure Jubilee, and so much better. Remember how expensive this Jubilee Build-A-Figure was? She was going for like a hundred bucks, and I mean, it's just crazy, and she wasn't really that spectacular, but it was the only Jubilee we had. So this is such an improvement. I'm so glad Hasbro did this, because it looks way better, um, night and day to me. Uh, but it's cool to have both versions to show you guys, but definitely if those that didn't buy this Build-A-Figure or you know buy it third party, your waiting paid off and you got a great one right there. 
and I'm sure her value has tanked ever since this one came out because this is the look that everyone seems to be wanting but very cool so there's a good comparison um, I like how we get alternate heads so we have two different versions we can have of Jubilee and we have so many different little vibrant effects from all the other past figures I'm not too bummed that she didn't come with any it would have been nice to maybe have interchangeable hand kind of like how Bullseye has the throwing darts if we had maybe one that's kind of looks like fireworks sparkling out of her hand that would have been pretty cool uh, but you know it's not the end of the world but that's something maybe maybe one day but there you go guys that's my review on jubilee from the caliban wave uh please leave a comment hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't take care